Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to RAM Overload. Today I'm going to show you guys how to properly install OpenVPN. I know I've seen people install Open OpenVPN, but then, you know, after a while they'll probably notice that it's not properly installed. So this is a quick guide on how to properly install it. All right, so let's get started. First, what we want to go to is OpenVPN. All right, just search it in your search engine and go to openvpn.net. Now we're here, we want to basically download the OpenVPN software on our PC. We'll click get started. My bad, I meant community. We will go here and let's go to downloads. So now here we have the um, different types of installers that they provide. So click which one you have. I have the, Win uh, I'll do a Windows 64 bit installer. So let's click that. It'll take a couple seconds to download, and once it's there, we just want to click it and run it. All right, so let's see what's customized. You can customize it if you want, if you know what you're doing. But other than that, just leave it as it is. All right, so let's click install now. Let's minimize this. So this it will take a couple minutes, right? Uh, depending on your PC, but it shouldn't really take that long. So let's just give it a couple more seconds and it should be done. Okay, so now OpenVPN is uh, is completed installing. Let's click close. So now we get a notification saying no readable connection profile config files can be found. Use the import file menu or copy your files to this location. All right, so let's press OK. So if you want it just for your uh, own computer, remember what the location is. It's whatever your username is, and then uh, open VPN folder slash config, or it can be in the program file open VPN config. So check both. So let's just click OK. So now we can see on the bottom right hand corner, it should be hidden. We can see this new open VPN icon that's in the system tray. Let's right click it, open, and we can see we can import it from a file, access server, or from a URL. So before we do that, we will go and get some uh, VPN files from online. So the way we do that, let me bring up the browser again. We want to go to a website called vpnbook.com. Vpnbook com. Now over here, let's scroll down and go to OpenVPN. Over here, you can see that these are the different servers that they have. PL, DE, US, US, CA. So CA is like Canada, FR, France, PL, maybe Poland, DE. I'm not really sure what DE is. Um, but yeah, you can see that these are the different VPNs available. So now choose which one you want to choose and you can basically just whichever one you want you can just drag it to your desktop or a specific folder or anywhere or you can just click it. So you can see it downloaded it right here so let's open the file and once we open it okay once we open it we can see that we have these three files which are .ovpn okay so we're gonna want to extract these three files. Um, well, we'll just use the first one for now. So let me just drag it to a folder over here. So it's on my desktop. I have it on a folder right there, right? Um, so now let's open up this import, import from file, and basically get this location. So it's on my desktop and right here. So did it import? Okay, yeah. All right, so now it will ask what the username and password is. The username is here on the website. So let's go back there. Paste. Okay, the password you can't paste is an image. W48BF5A. Save password, press OK. Now you can see over here, okay, it's connecting. So you can see your connection turn off and then turn on again. Give it a couple seconds. All right, so green is connected. So you can see that it's connected and that's the IP that it's assigned to me. So you probably will get a notification on the bottom right hand side over here. I just remembered I have my notifications off over here. So that's why nothing popped up. So that being said, uh, since now the connection is there, let's 
double check with uh, um, an IP check. Uh, what's my IP? So it shows that this is my IP, which is, oh, let's go to a website. So yeah, you can see my IP, this is not really where, anywhere close to where I live, right? Um, but for some reason, it's not France either, saying it's Warren, Michigan. But that being said, uh, the VPN is working and um, it is hiding my IP. So depending on which VPN you do use, um, the speed can vary. So just take that into consideration. Uh, the VPN that I'm on right now, whichever file I chose, um, it is kind of slow. But then again, um, that is what you're, I, I guess, getting from a free VPN. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, really quick and easy tutorial on how to properly set up OpenVPN. If you have any question or comments, leave it down below. Um, I'd love to help you guys out. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.